Well, as our, as our economy is improving and as our labor market will be becoming narrower and narrower, uh, we know that our population growth is virtually at zero and, and um, it is important for Alberta to employ those who are underemployed and unemployed. The fact is that foreign qualifications recognition will become one of the vital components uh, in making sure that those who already are in Canada, particularly in Alberta, and those who are planning on coming to Alberta uh, get to have the opportunity of practicing their trade or, or, or their, uh, their profession to the maximum of their education. In order to do that, they have to be recognized, their, their credentials uh, from, from their country of origin have to be recognized here. Now we have a system where we have self-governing bodies, uh, professional bodies that license doctors, accountants, lawyers, and engineers, and others. And we are working as government in collaboration with those self-governing bodies um, to make sure that uh, workers who end up practicing in Alberta not only meet our Canadian standards, so we're not sacrificing standards, but at the same time, they are given the ability to practice as soon as they're ready. The fact is that countries throughout the world compete for the same skilled individuals. And if we want to attract the brightest uh, in each field, we have to make sure that their immigration experience, that they're moving to Alberta, their professional experience is a positive one. That uh, when they come over here, they have reasonable expectations. And that's why we have websites on which they, be, even before they board an airplane, they can check of what is the likelihood of them practicing over here, or how long will it take for them to be practicing over here. But then upon arrival, that we provide them with support services. Uh, we don't want to catch up to other countries, we want to exceed other countries.